hi loves today i'm going to share with you guys how i am going to condition my hair without using comb so the product i'm going to use to condition my hair is um the shea this product i've showed you guys in some of my life i will definitely share my opinion um, with you guys how the product works on my hair how my hair react to it if my hair like it or not i will definitely share it with you with you guys but for today's video i'm just going like to share with you guys how i will be conditioning my hair using my hand to separate my hair without using a comb you guys don't have mentioned that combing my hair when my hair is wet my hair also breaks but i'm not saying that i will never comb my hair again this is not my intention at all to stop uh, combing my hair i i will definitely comb my hair maybe sometimes then i will work with my hand because the reason why i'm trying to to do this method is that it does truly reduce the, um, the amount of amount of breakage I get. So, for someone that is trying to retain length, that is my case. I have um, my hair is already healthy. Um, I have the volume, but now my goal is to retain my length that is already growing out of my scalp. So, for me to able to achieve that length. I'm trying to minimize the amount of combs I use on my wash days. This is why I'm like cutting it down gradually. Um, I haven't combed my hair for the past four months to five months. But yeah, you guys know I told you that I was going to comb my hair in June because I had an, an event coming up. So yeah i will definitely comb my hair in june and i will see how my hair reacts to this method i've been doing for the um, for the past few months i uh, i have tried this method before in the past but i think i only did it for like two months i didn't comb my hair for two months and i didn't see a huge huge length retention so i remembered that was 2021 i think or 2022 something like that he was on challenge with um certain group of uh, naturals and sisters and it truly works then i reflect back and i told myself like okay why don't you try that method again and see if it works so this is where all my ideas come from like okay i'm gonna stop combing my hair for a while and see how my hair reacts to it and yeah i did really see uh see a uh, change on my hair but the thing is that while finger detangling i have to be very very patient because you know finger detangling my hair alone without using comb I might not be able okay to get all the knocks out of my hair so this is why while doing this I have to be very 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 patient and as you guys can see I am starting from the from the ends of my hair because the ends of my hair are the most fragile part and if you guys have been watching my videos you guys know I repeat the same thing to my hair the same method i don't change it until my hair uh want something different or my head needs some certain type of different way for me to treat it uh, and this is why i always say you should listen to your hair because sometimes your head do speak like uh, what you are doing is not good the way you are treating your hair is not good or Maybe you are a little bit harsh to your hair or you are not um you are not tender to your hair. So your hair will definitely let you know. And this is why some of us do um experience excessive breakage 
or hair sh- excessive hair shedding or even on a false hair shedding because sometimes our hair do shed okay hair do shed every day but depends on how you treat your hair your hair might shed excessively or your hair might shed uh, normal like um a, in a moderate um level but if you have put in that tension um you are not be careful while combing your hair or detangling your hair or you are just like be harsh to your hair or you are doing your hair with rush because you have somewhere to go maybe that hair that particular hair that shed out of your hair is not um in the moment to shed out yet out of your scalp but by you adding more tension and be harsh not being careful to your hair that hair we we shed out of your scalp um, easily than the way it should shed i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but i be i believe you understand what i'm trying to explain here so yeah as you guys can see i have done uh half of half of my hair yeah i'm just like repeating the same method as i've mentioned i don't normally change my method i repeat the same thing to my hair so i'm just applying and separating gradually gradually so as i'm doing this i'm just like going to continue um giving you guys all the tips and i also know that some of you have been asking me a lot of questions we might do q and a on this channel maybe soon i don't know when but maybe soon so you guys can ask me any question um that you wish to know about my hair or if there is anything i can help you with i'll be delighted to do it um in my previous video is one of my previous video i told you guys that i was very very busy this is the reason why i'm not so like um consistent but it doesn't mean that i'm gonna like forget you guys without uploading any video this video i'm even like um i'm even sharing with you guys now it has been recorded but i haven't got the chance to share it with you this is how busy i am this is how busy i truly am but yeah life is life life is life in so there is nothing i can really do about it but i'm still like taking out of the time to share with you guys i truly love sharing but the thing is that time the time is just so like so busy so i just have to get used to it and do what i can okay so yeah as i was saying if you are ashed to your hair you might just be breaking your hair off and for example for me while i'm conditioning my hair i do like finger detangling my hair first before applying comb because applying comb on your hair directly is gonna break your hair off and besides um afro hair is really really fragile but many people don't know this afro hair is the most fragile hair to me according to my experience i'm not saying that other type of hair are not fragile but the more kinkier the more coils you have um more fragile your hair your hair are you know so you want to be very careful and while your hair is even wet you want to be even more extra careful because wet hair is even like more 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 fragile this is why you want to be really careful while combing you want to like comb your hair while it's wet and um in a very little session do not make the session too big make the session very small if you have to spend maybe 30 minutes more or one hour more but at least you will you will you will avoid maybe excessive hair breakage it's not that you're not going to experience uh breakage you will experience breakage but 
um you will be able to control the amount of breakage you will experience you will minimize the amount of breakage because you have the control okay the control is in your hand because you are the one combing your hair you are the one separating it and finger detangling it and applying on the product on your hair so you have the control to minimize that breakage um you know so yeah you have the control to do that so if you truly want to like um to like retail lens you guys i've shared a lot of video recently i've experienced a lot of things with my hair which i'm sharing with you guys i don't really keep it with me so there is no point me keeping it with me and yeah i share every details because i know it's helping me and when i comb my hair i will also share it with you guys the pros and the cons on me not combing my hair for the past um for the past few months i will definitely share it with you guys how my hair react to it if my hair love it or not so my love this is it this is how i normally condition my hair finger detangling my hair without using any comb yeah this is it and you guys see me in the video i didn't apply any comb on my hair i'm just using my finger to separate my hair so thank you so much for watching if you haven't joined the family i don't really know what you are waiting for hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video bye bye